Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're going to talk about how you can use a sprite in Unity. Now, a sprite is one of the more popular sprite editor pixel art packages out there. It's commercial software, sort of, uh, but it is also dirt cheap. So you can get it for about 20 bucks, or you can actually build it yourself from source code and get it for completely for free. And this thing can do a lot of stuff. In addition to just doing normal sprite drawing, you can organize into layers, you can animate, um, you got various different playback modes. You've got onion skinning, tight control over your palette, so on and so forth. As you can see here, there is a ton of functionality here. And generally what you do is you spit out a ping sequence and that's how you would animate it in something like Unity or Godot or whatever. But a Sprite also has its own file format. By the way, if you want to get it, it is also available up on Steam. As I said, it's about... Uh, it's $22 Canadian, so like $18 USD. Uh, or again, build it from source if you are interested. So again, a popular pixel art tool. But what's cool is now you can actually use it in the Unity game engine. So in order to do that, what you need is this A Sprite importer package, which was just released. I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install it and then how easy it is to actually use A Sprite with the Unity game engine. By the way, I'm going to be using a couple of created projects for this. Specifically, this one, the animated pixel adventurer, is an A Sprite example you can download for free from itch.io. And then this one, which is a uh, project demonstrating the phaser library, showing A Sprite animations inside of phaser, which by the way also supports A Sprite sprite format, uh, which is available here. I will have both of these um, linked in the linked article down below. So if you don't have A Sprite but you want to check this out, you can do so. All right, so with that covered, let us jump in. I just created a Unity project. Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and use this. First, we need to install it. Go to a window and then go to package manager right here. Uh, once that is selected, click this little plus icon and then add a package by name. Now the name you want is com.unity.2d.asprite. So A-S-E-P-R-I-T-E and then go ahead and run that. It's going to go ahead and find it. Now, the downside is our burst compiler version is going to be uh, wrong. Uh, so it's going to want to do a restart, most likely. We'll see if it does that in this case. It did the last time I did this. So we'll let it go ahead and import in the required package. All right, there you go. So the burst compiler is out of date. Restart your editor to continue. And then you're going to notice you actually get some errors down here, which is the nature of the beast with uh, Unity these days. So we've got that done. Let's go ahead and relaunch our project like so. And we should be good to go. Um, so if you just magically luck out that your burst compiler is the same version as the, uh, the plaque, the package, you won't have to do this part. Otherwise that is the nature of the beast. All right. So now what we got to do is grab one of these files. So either grab, uh, this animation right here, this ASE file right here, or download this one from here, uh, available right here. Just download. No, thanks. Just grab it. And then you can grab, I think it's original files that you're going to go ahead and want. And now we're going to just, they're available right here. So original files, adventure or adventure with a bow. So I'll just drop adventure back in my downloads folder. And now what we're going to find is I have these two files available. So now I'm going to go back over here and then here. And what I will do is just drop that into the scene. And what this file ultimately is, what we just added is an importer. So it automatically knows how to bring that guy in. I will bring the other one in as well. So that was from Original files, it should have been dropped in here. Hmm. All right, let me go back in here. And we'll bring in the bow one. I lost the other guy, so. Okay, we'll go with that. So that is how easy it is to now import a sprites directly into the Unity game engine. So why would you want to do this? Well, because there's a lot of information encoded in there. By the way, this little guy is tiny. So let's go ahead and we'll zoom him up tenfold in the X and the Y direction. So there is our character at um, kind of a uh idle frame of animation here but it gives us an idea of the one now let's go ahead and check out the other one just again drop it in it is once again tiny so let's uh let's tenfold that guy as well and there so we have our two characters i'm gonna go ahead and run this and you're gonna see one of the big advantages here is boom they're both animated so you have full animation support that's coming from the a sprite implementer um importer so you're gonna notice when i select one of these imported things i can actually expand it out you're gonna see all of the frames of animation that were bought in individually uh, and then also all of the animations that were brought in together same for this other guy right here so again all of the spray sprites so this one apparently is a sprite sheet and then the animations that came with it so uh the, this one the night one from uh 
uh, the phaser demo probably is the best explanation or the best demo one of them out there. But if you go ahead again and select it right here, you're going to notice you have a number of options for your importer. So you can do things like I can import it with full rect. So if I have um, everything is a fixed pixel size, which is, you know, convenient for uh, grid based games, etc. You can actually have it bring in the mesh to match that dimension. Otherwise, it'll shrink it down to the actual pixel sizes of the underlying image. Uh, you can show hidden layers, you can change the pivot space and pivot alignment uh, and so on. So there's a ton of little different options available for the importer, which by the way is fully documented, which is also quite nice. Now, another thing you're going to notice with these guys is if I come in here, we'll go window animation animator. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Windows animation animation right here. So let's go back to our scene over here and select our character over here. What you're going to notice is, okay, not really what I intended, but that'll work. Uh, what you'll notice is there are a ton of animations available from that character. So you can do your animations inside of a sprite and then treat them like animations that were done any other way inside of uh, the Unity game engine. So here, let's see the step animation and go. So boom. So uh, again, this makes it really simple to directly import a sprite stuff. So instead of having to go into a sprite, if you make a change here, what you would have to do is re-render the ping sequence, then bring it back into Unity, and then turn that ping sequence into an animation and so on. Where this thing, it basically is importing the a sprite native format, uh, automatically setting everything up for you, including you see here, we've got an animation controller being built. The sprite sheet is brought in right here. So you can see all of the various different sprites in that sprite sheet are available right there. Uh, and then we have all of the individual frames are broken out for us. And then again, all of the animations we want are here as well. So if you are using a sprite with Unity for your uh, you know, your pixel art pipeline, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. Now, there used to be a plugin of this type uh, that was around before, uh, but it just hasn't been updated in a number of years. So this is a new release. This is officially from Unity, by the way. Uh, so once again, to go ahead and add it, just go in here, go to the package manager, do the plus here, and then go package by name, and then you're putting in the name of the packages, com, Unity 2D, uh, a sprite. Uh, so Unity, so com.unity.2d.aseprite, and then add it in, and you're good to go. And as I mentioned earlier on, there is documentation for this guy. Uh, so it goes through, uh, again, it's version 1.0, so there's nothing new. Uh, tells you the features of what brings in. There's stuff it doesn't necessarily bring in, so no layer group support, no layer modes. Um, layer, layer opacity, so layers are imported with 100% opacity, unfortunately. I don't know if they're going to be changing and adding these new features as you go forward. And then the documentation for what you could control with the importer itself is all available here as well. But for the most part, it falls under the category of an it just works tool. And it's one of those things, again, if you are working with a 2D pixel art uh, pipeline and a sprite is your tool of choice, this is going to save you a ton of time if you are a Unity user. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.